Now I'm going to show you how to use the SIM 900 HTTP GET and POST commands. First, I will show you how to retrieve, uh, retrieve the contents of a web page using the GET commands. And then I will show you how to use the HTTP POST commands to upload a file using the multi-part form data protocol. So first, what we will do is we will, we will uh, try to retrieve the contents of this web page. So this is the web page I am going to retrieve. So just copy the URL and uh, we'll start. The first, the first thing what we should do is we need to enable a GPRS connection. So you just follow the uh, like the steps what they are given in this document from Simcom. So use these commands. Et. Okay. Et plus SAPBR is equal to three comma one comma cone type connection type is GPRS. Okay, and set the APN. So it's www in my case and enable the GPRS context T plus P -P So this is, this command will enable the GPRS and now we need to check whether we have been allocated an IP address. Okay, now we now we can start using the HTTP commands. So this is the basic HTTP GET method shown here. So first thing, first command is this AT plus HTTP init, and then AT plus HTTP parameter is equal to CID comma one. Then AT plus HTTP para is equal to. We need to provide the URL which uh, from where we are going to access the page. So URL. Do remember the double quotes. So just paste it here. Okay. Now we need to execute the get session. So this is the command to execute the get session. AT plus HTTP. is equal to 0. So HTTP AT plus HTTP action is equal to 0 will execute the get command. So as we see here, uh, the 200 means that we have, the get was successful. So now we can read the data that has been collected into the buffer plus HTTP read. Okay, let's see that this is what we have actually requested. Okay, this is the one exactly. So total 654 bytes of data was read. Correct. So you can see that BR everything, these are all HTML tags which are not shown on the browser. Okay, this is the HTTP get method from where you can get the contents of a web page or through your GSM module to where maybe your MC or an or in a board. So now I will show you how to upload a file uh, to a HTTP server. For this, I will use this server posttestserver.com slash post.php. This is a free service provided by some developer. So uh, what we can do is we can upload a file to this server and it shows us that uh, whether a file has been uploaded or not. So uh, uh, let, let us test this server like uh, using this tool called as Fiddler. Okay, here you can compose your HTTP POST request and send it to the server and see and you can also observe what uh, response the server provides also. So, so this is the HTTP POST request, post the URL here and uh, this is the option here like uh, if you want to upload in file, so there is a direct option here, upload file and uh, so this is the, uh, I just uh, put some dummy text file, 
t.txt is just contains three letters in it ryp so what we do now is okay we'll just say that execute okay it says that the content length was 163 and let's see what's the response is the server says successfully dumped zero post variables and we will add this url so whatever we have posted it will it is available at this url let's see what there what's there in it okay so here it is so we uploaded t.txt and the size of the file is 3 bytes so you can uh, see the content uploaded file contents are here at this url it's correct so the timing you can also see the timing at it at which it was uploaded 753 so uh, it it's it also di it's uh, different to our time zone so maybe it's half an hour behind i guess okay so uh, this is how you do it so uh, right now i'm doing it using this fiddler tool so this is the, uh, this is the this same thing needs to be done from our sim 900 module so for this to ex to be executed i have written a script wherein oh uh, it takes care of all the like file uploading and all so this is the script here so first things uh, everything is same like uh, enable the gprs context uh, and uh, uh, set the apn set the username set the password and uh, enable the gprs and uh, if 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 you, uh, if you don't get an okay back if it's an error then it disables the gprs and again starts it again so uh, it it contains whole, the whole protocol like uh, if it in terms of if it if it fails it starts again so these are the commands here whatever are provided in the data sheet here for the http post so yeah okay here it is so first step is http 80 plus http in it so this is what we have done here and the second step is cid uh, we said the parameter as cid comma 1 so that's what we have done and next we set the url from where we want to to where we want to upload the file to so here it is at plus http parameter url comma url so url is right above here so it's just a string variable so this is the url and then uh, after that we need to post the uh, like uh, like set the tell it tell that uh, with, with what protocol or what is the content exactly we are sending in the post body so this is the content uh, parameter so we said that at plus http parameter is equal to content is multipart form data and the boundary is this one so this particular ca character sequence of characters forms the boundary of the body uh, body so as you see here in our composer this is what is happening so we send the content between these two boundaries so uh, this is a unique character so that the text is differentiated so uh, this is what we can say the header of the multi part form data file upload upload so you can see that the file name is provided here so when it is saved on the server it will be this file name so this field name can be anything so we just uh, it automatically puts field name here you can put it anyway anything you want so it's it's very important that the content of this whole text need to be provided exactly so this is what i am doing here so first i what we need to provide is at plus http data is equal to so we we fill in a buffer uh, there is a buffer in sim 900 which needs to be filled with a body post body so uh, using using this command at plus http data is equal to uh, size size of the data to be uploaded comma the timeout value so it uh, reads in the data until the timeout happens okay you can see the whole thing uh, happening in the when the script is running now 
so this is what i have done here so uh, this is the first uh, boundary wire printing followed by new line character so this is uh, this corresponds to this part this boundary value can be anything it, it is a random number so and the same thing content data and the file uh, here see i have written as file to upload so you can write it anything you want it depends on the uh, if your uh, php file is having some requirement then you need to be keep it what you have provided in the form data so file name is whatever we provide here so it's uh, whenever when we provide the here i have hard coded to data.txt so it reads the data.txt file and uploads hence the puts the contents after the boundary here this is this string is there here right so this is the one this is where the content of the body is printed and then uh, we end the whole body post body by using this boundary character that's all once we do this uh, we need to execute this post request so we use the this this use this command ht plus http action is equal to one so if it's a zero here it's a get request and if it's one here it's a post request so we can see this uh, in action right here we'll just clear it sorry and then we see the what's the content of this so this is the file that needs to be uploaded so it just has the some content hello ravi data or txt so it's somewhere around 10 bytes yeah you can see it's, it's 10 bytes now close the com port and run our script so we just compile it for now so we use the gcc for this and say and run the file see all what i have explained is happening right here Okay, done. So it says successfully dumped zero post variables at this URL. So we just see what is the content of at this URL right now. So here it is. So everything is same 10, 7, 7, 0, 7 dot 4, 1. Zero seven dot four one dot two nine one six nine hundred. Six three four eighty. Okay. See, the file has been uploaded, and the file name is data.txt, and the size is ten bytes, and the file is available at this address. That's all. This is how we post a file to HTTP server. I'm putting this uh, script on my blog so that uh, you can have access to it and uh, maybe you can customize it to you ac according to your, your requirements. Alright, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.